name is Conrad Stoltz, also known as the Caveman, and um, did my first exterior in 2001. I was actually already an old triathlete. I did my first triathlon in 1988. Turned professional when I finished high school in 1991. So 1992 was my first year professional. So I raced in Europe on the road and I went to two Olympic Games. And uh, my coach at the time, Lillaby Burrell, and she said, 2001, you can do anything you want. Um, and I was reading a triathlon magazine, American triathlon magazine, which at the time was very rare in South Africa. And there was a picture, a two-page picture of Steve Larson running his mountain bike through a knee-deep stream. And I uh, saw that picture and I said, this is what I want to do. And then before the first Xterra, which was Richmond, Virginia, I had to borrow a mountain bike as well. And it was the shocking bike. It was a, it was a soft ride. <laughs> and I went there with road pedals. And um, yeah, that's how I started my first Xterra. first time I saw Conrad Stolz, the caveman, they like to call him that. This big guy just destroying the field, he ran away and won and then he went to Olympics and I was just like, wow, inspiring. Conrad is only a, a month younger than me, so we're very much from the same era. That sort of made that for me is, is less of a superhero or the caveman like everybody calls him and more of a of a friend that actually went out there with immense sort of determination and made the most of the talents that he was given. You know, he was the guy that was prepared to make the sacrifices while we were just looking and dreaming. He became the Olympian. He became the seven-time world champion. My first memory probably of it was when he won the world champs for the first time at Xterra, him and Anka Erlang. And I think that encouraged a lot of people in South Africa to notice Exterra and actually I think it was shortly after that that they started doing Exterra in South Africa. So he was definitely the instigator of Exterra within South Africa. Oh, I feel like I've heard, of, heard about Conrad ever since I arrived in Stellenbosch back in about 2003. Um, he's been the name synonymous to mountain biking and multi-sport in South Africa. So, uh, you know, right from the beginning he's been the guy that you wanted to be associated with or be friends with. and. Uh, yeah, so it goes back as far as I can remember. So he was in my era, unfortunately. <laughs> I would have been a lot, I would have had a, a lot more SA titles or African champ sort of titles, Xterra titles if he wasn't around. But uh, then he stuck around for so long, I think there's some other guys who would say the same thing. Then we went to France and we lived in a house together in France for four, four or five months. And the year after we were in Australia together, we traveled to Japan, we always stayed together. So I knew very well as a person. But let me tell you, when, the, when that gun goes off and the race starts, uh, there's no friends. Eh? Then it's every man for himself. And Conrad, uh, he wanted to win. I mean, like everyone else, I wanted to win. He wanted to win, and he wanted it a lot. So there was no, there's no give during the race. It's all or nothing. And he races hard. You know, he races very hard. Just his, his determination of not giving up. It doesn't matter how bad it is or, or how bad it gets. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to make it. He's so difficult to beat. So how do you start off? Uh, swim is out in front, the biking is world class and uh, he's got to run to match up anybody and so it really comes down to when can you pounce if he flounders. Yeah, I think the most um, defining characteristic of Conrad is the way he goes about preparation for a race. You know, that's what I've learned most from Conrad is that um, he really leaves no stone unturned literally and figuratively. He, he'll go out onto the course and, and find the most creative lines. On a corner you think, well just take the line that's there and, and it seems, it seems like it'll do the job, but that's never good enough for Conrad. You know, he's always, he's always looking for a faster, straighter line. And Conrad's all about having fun. And I think that's why he could do it for so long. And it's such an inspiration to all of us up and coming athletes to, to look at Conrad, how long he went on for. And, you know, he, he did it the right way. He enjoyed it. Yes, he, he roughed it, definitely. He roughed it. But, he enjoyed every single moment of it, and that's also just his personality. Well, I think he's made, a, he's made a big impact on the sport, especially in South Africa and overseas, showing that our South Africans can do well, and he's opened the way up for Dan and Brad and all the Oaks that are doing it now. Groundbreaking in that sense, and he's opened it up and shown people that you can do it and live the lifestyle like that. I think Conrad's one of the only guys in the exterior field and the races that I've raced at where he's been present that you can actually approach before an event. And that's a very unique characteristic because most guys get into their bubble, they zone out, they don't feel like talking to anybody, none of the 
sort of, Conrad's the kind of guy that the kids can up, come up to before the, the start of Xterra and he'll sign autographs and he'll have a good laugh. He'll even, might, even, might even have a sip of your beer. Guy that was always prepared to, you know, how are you, what are you up to, you know, just a normal guy. South Africa is a sports crazy nation. We love our sports. And in my opinion, Conrad Stoltz is one of the greatest athletes ever to emerge from the shores of South Africa. Once he got the lead, early in the bike, he never let go. Amazing end to an amazing day and rookie year. Conrad Stoltz, Xterra World Champion. Conrad, absolutely incredible. Congratulations. The first Republic of South African to ever win the Xterra World Championship. Years ago, South African Conrad Stoltz competed in his first ever Xterra World Championship. He won. No one knew at the time, but the legend of the caveman was just getting started. In 2002, Stoltz proved to be the real deal. Defending his World Championship title and winning his second Xterra World Championship, the first two uh, world titles I won here in 2001 and 2002, I thought this is, this is my game, this is my race. I'm, I'm going to win the world title five years in a row. And uh, obviously I shouldn't have said it because I had mechanicals and I had tires and I had injuries. And after seven years of racing, it's my seventh year, I've only got two world titles. So I see that the, the other athletes that, that won while, while I was gone basically borrowed the title for a while and this year I'm taking it back. After a few years of bad luck, Stoltz rose to the top again, winning in Maui in 2007 and again in 2010. An unprecedented four Xterra World Championship victories, three ITU Cross World Triathlon victories, and the Xterra Championship event record holder with 53 major wins. He's also a two-time Olympian. But it wasn't just his triathlon hardware that made Stoltz special, no. Conrad has done more for Xterra and perpetuating the healthy, active outdoors lifestyle than anyone on the planet. Take the Xterra South African Series, for example. Perhaps the most vibrant race series in the world, with more than 2,500 racers taking part in their championship weekend earlier this year. He's touched and motivated more people to get out and live more than you could possibly count. I grew up in an environment that's very much like this. Uh, it's obviously not a lava, but it's outdoors, it's, it's wild bush. My parents are extremely supportive of my sport. As a little boy, they taught me to cycle at three years old. Three years old, I cycled without little training wheels. My father gave me the, the, the nickname, Caveman, because he said, uh, everything you touch breaks. <laughs> so uh, it kind of stuck. I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. Uh, any other job or any other thing that would make me happier than what I am doing right now. I think 
extra was made for Conrad. <laughs> and the stories over the years have only enhanced the caveman legend. He is an excellent spokesperson for his sponsors and the sport. He is dependable, approachable, humble, and personable, and more than willing to share his racing skills and knowledge with other athletes. The legend of the caveman is preparing for yet another chapter in his life with wife Liesel and their newest addition, baby Zena. The Xterra tribe would expect nothing less than for Conrad to be a world champion father. Xterra salutes the caveman and would like to thank him for making the past 15 years unforgettable. You really have to doff your cap to the, to the guy who's had an incredible um, career and one that I don't think will ever be matched. But for Conrad, he's starting his family very late, so I wish him all the best with his family. My kids are now 18 and 15, so I'm well out of the woods compared to him. But he's, he's embarking on a fantastic journey now as a, as a husband and a father, and that's brilliant. As Conrad enters the next phase of his life with his lovely wife, Liesel, and his beautiful daughter, Zena, we can only wish him all the best. He knows that he will always be part of the Xterra South Africa family. One guy that I'll, I'll surely miss on the start line of Xterra South Africa, um, or not miss, well-deserving man to be inducted into the Hall of Fame.